people. Home to the Empire State Building. The Statue of Liberty. Listen, you've seen all this stuff before. If you're going to come all this way, let me show you where you should really go. This is one of the prettiest places in all of the five boroughs. If you want to inflict Instagram jealousy, the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens are the place to do it. Millions of new flowers blossom every day, but if you come on a Tuesday, admission is free, and free is a beautiful thing. I find that most people here use mass transit just to get somewhere. But if you're open to embracing the journey itself, this is my favorite way to see the city. With the swipe of a Metro card, you can, for a few moments, rise above the flurry of traffic beneath you. And after you've checked out Roosevelt Island itself, you can just fly on back. You're probably wondering, what's so special about this place? But the thing about New York is, if you don't look close enough, you're gonna miss out on some of its best kept secrets. This was an actual speakeasy during the Prohibition era, a place where notorious gangsters like Bugsy Siegel and Lucky Luciano used to meet all the time. It's open every night, but if you come on a Monday, this place is truly in full swing, with the live tunes of Svetlana and the Delancey Five. You tired of dancing? How about some Chinese? Everyone knows Chinatown in Manhattan, but to me, this is the real Chinatown. The lights, the smells, it all hits you. I love how lost I feel when I come here. And it's hard to believe that this is still a part of the same city. But I promise you food. Tucked away on the ground is the Golden Mall. There are tons of hidden food courts like this around here. But if you like hot pot, this is my favorite spot. It's all you can eat. And I guarantee you've never had some of these ingredients before. Wait, you want it Mexican? I hope you don't mind, but I invited some friends. Seems like an ordinary taco place, huh? Wrong. Walk down some stairs through the kitchen, and you'll enter the trendiest subterranean flavor playground in all of the city. There's a reason why Jay-Z and Beyonce come here. There's a great vibe, nearly 200 types of tequila, and the food? Good God, the food. Good morning, and welcome to Governor's Island. You can't actually sleep here, but once the sun does rise, this is my favorite urban oasis. To me, it's the happiest place in the city. Located off the tip of Manhattan, no cars are allowed on this island, so it's a pedestrian's paradise. You can rent bikes, check out cool art installations, and even learn about sustainable farming. You can also pet goats, which may sound like nothing. But seriously, look at that baby goat. This exercise is making me hungry though. More food? There is nothing more difficult than deciding what to eat at Smorgasburg. Nearly 100 vendors from across the region come together with the sole purpose of fighting for your taste buds' attention. From Brooklyn Oyster Party and People's Pops, to the French fried stuffed burritos at Best Buds, and the machete chopped coconuts at Excel's. Your choices are endless. But if you ask me, why not just get one of everything? You're not full yet, are you? Hang in there, we're almost done. Before we part ways, there's one more place I need to take you. This is my favorite place to walk in the entire city. If you can go to Corona Park in Queens when the sun is just beginning to set, you'll witness all the little examples of what I think makes New York so enchanting. 
Listen, you're never gonna see everything in the city. It's always growing, always changing. There are so many different cultures, flavors, people, all in one place. But that's why it's my favorite city in the world. So please, get out there, go see the world, and come see New York.